So what is the best car mount for your vehicle? Now you can see I have a lot of different car mounts and it all boils down to, of course, preference as well as how your vehicle is actually laid out. Now I'm a little bit biased to the car mounts with the magnets because it's just so much easier. You can just use one hand, put it on and take it off. So I have several car mounts here. You can see them all like laid up on here. Some are magnetic. Some are the ones that are clip-ons. Got a ton of them here on my vents. I even have one down here that's for a, a basically put this into your CD player. It's a magnet here. But the first one that I want to go over is this one here. So let me, and here's another one here that's actually on my uh, rear view mirror. And I typically, I pretty much don't like this because it's pretty much like in my way. But the first one I want to go over is probably my favorite one. It's probably this one here is by Wizgear. This one has like a long arm. Let me go ahead and pull this phone off of here. And the reason why I'm going to go with this one first is because I need this one to record the rest of this video. I need to put this onto my sunroof so I can use two hands. Okay, anyways, this is an iPhone 7 Plus. It's a large phone here, and I actually have a metal plate. Uh, it's a magnetic plate that's back here. I'll show you that like in one second, but let me just show you this particular car mount. You can see the car mount here is a suction cup. You can put it on your dashboard or on your windshield, and you have this little groove. And of course, you can adjust this as well. And then if I loosen it, now I can move this arm any position that I want. I can put it like up here, I can put it down here. I can also swivel this part here as well, and I can tighten that too. So let me just go ahead and take this one off first. You unclamp it, and then you just go ahead and pull the suction off by the little flap right here. Let me go ahead and just stick this one on and again this is my favorite one here this one's by Wizgear. i'm gonna put all all the ones i can find i'm gonna put it in the link below in the description but for now for this video i need to use this one to continue the video i can't be doing this with uh one hand so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one up to my sunroof and this is this is great too because you can put it actually put this onto your window you can do like vlogging uh you can do time lapses i mean it's great so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put this up here I'm gonna put it up here just like this and then basically I can just get my phone that I'm using now and just pop that on here and adjust this how I want it, okay? All right, so let me just start off with this one here. I have my Nexus 6P here. You can see the magnetic plate in the back here and here is the car mount. This one here is by TechView. You can see it's kind of a little tiny arm on there and you have a good strong magnet on here and it has a suction cup of course you can use it on your windshield or dashboard or even on your sunroof or on your side windows like these are my favorites the ones that have the magnet on there and what you can you know when you get these basically this is what it comes with okay and again I'm gonna try to find links for all these and put it in um, the description area below but typically they come with usually they come with like three magnetic plates okay usually you have one with an adhesive on here or two like a smaller one with adhesive and a bigger one with an adhesive and you have another one that does not have no adhesive. Basically what you do with these is for the one that has an adhesive adhere this directly to the back of your phone like this or what you can do is you can put it on the back of your case as well you can stick it on there. Now the way I do it is I don't ever use the sticky I use the one that has no adhesive and I just slip it into my case okay but you can also do too is you can still use this this magnet here and don't take off the sticky part here. Don't take it off. You can just slip it in there just like that and it's basically the same thing. And of course, it comes with a smaller one. That's pretty much for all the uh, magnetic car holders. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this away. All right, now let's move over to this one here. I don't even know the brand of this one, but you know, just to let you guys know that there are one hook up to your rear view uh, mirror you can see here. I don't like this because it just covers too much on me, but this one here, all you gotta do is you have to slip this up and then you can pull this right out and then let me go ahead and take this off as well so basically you take this off you just pull that out pull this top oop, let me pull this top part out first just like that and you can see how this one was again I personally I don't like this one but you can also adjust this area as well so let me put this one to the side and then let's move over to this one here now I personally I don't advise like these ones here these ones that have like these clamps even this one here it has like a clamp now the only reason why I don't advise like these ones is because you always have to use two hands to put your phone in okay so you put your phone in you know and then all of a sudden you want to use your phone you always have to use 
you have to open it one hand and to pull your phone out with the other hand. So personally, you know, I just, it, for me, it's, these are not for me. I always like the magnetic ones because you can just pull it off, put it on one hand and you're ready to go. Same thing with this one here. This one here actually connects to your vent. We pull that one off. Basically you just push that right into your vent. And another thing too, it depends on like what kind of vent you have, uh, depending on like how deep your windshield is. So, you know, it, it a lot of it depends on the way that your vehicle is actually set up, okay? And th here's this one again. Let me just put this one aside. I don't. I, I used to use this a long time ago. Then once I found the magnetic ones, I started getting those. Also, here's another one here. This one is by Peckham. This one here has a 3M adhesive in the back. And what you do with this one is basically you just adhere it to anywhere like on your dashboard. And this is a super strong magnet right here. And here's my Nexus 6P. And you can just pop that on there. You can see how strong this little tiny magnet is. And basically you can pop this off as well. And it does rotate a little bit too. You can kind of rotate it like this. You can kind of see that. So let me go ahead and put this one to the side. Now we're gonna go over a couple ones that are on here on the vents. Now it depends on what kind of vent you have. A lot of you guys might have the uh, vents that have a bunch of blades. Mine just has one that's horizontal. So it's not really convenient for me. But you can see I have one here. And this one here is by this one here is by Wizgear. And this is probably one of the best vent ones that I have because you have like a clamp right here. You can clamp that down to the vent. And then you have this part here that swivels as well. Let me put this in a way. And we're going to go over here. And this is my Samsung Galaxy uh, J7. This is actually a pretty large phone. It's pretty much the size of like an iPhone Plus or a like Samsung Galaxy Note phone. It's, it's really big. Anyways, I have another one here. This one is by Wizgear. And this one you just basically place into your vent. Again, you can see my vent here. I only have like one blade across. It's horizontal. Most cars I've seen, you have a, you have a, uh, like a vertical, bunch of vertical blades. And those seem to actually work a little bit better. Anyways, you can see the back on here. It's very, very simple, but the magnet here is quite strong. Here's another one by MPOW, and it's pretty much the same thing, except this one is a round and this one is rectangle. You can see here, round and rectangle. Here's another one that you put on your steering wheel. Now, I don't advise this one. I don't even know. I mean, for me, this doesn't work, but this may work for you. Let me just go ahead and pull this one off here. And I'll put this to the side. And oh, here's another one by Wizgear. Now this one here just has the adhesive. Uh, this one here, you just gotta place it somewhere on your dashboard or wherever. It, there's nothing that you can move it around. It's pretty much, it, it'll sit just, it, there's just gonna be no, no movement, no nothing, okay? You pop it on there and that's all you're gonna get. You're not gonna get no swivel out of it, okay? And let's go down the line. Let's go to this one here. Okay, now this is a magnetic one as well. This here kind of has like a medium sized arm. You can see here, now this phone here, uh, is a, this is an iPhone 6 here. So you can kind of see the size. Magnet is good. Now this company is by, I think it's Miso, but this one works pretty well. Short arm, of course you can pop it on your windshield, your dashboard, uh, your window, whatnot. Okay, and this one here, of course, this one swivels as well. Let me put this one to the side. And now let's move over to this one here. And this one, this phone here I have on here, I think this is an iPhone, this is an iPhone 6S. You can see the size on here. You can see I have to play it on here. Of course, if you guys want to use these magnetic uh, plates, these magnetic car holders, you can always get a case that's, um, that's not transparent if you don't want this to be visible. Anyways, let me go ahead and, oops, let me just pop this one on here. Just pop it on there and you clamp it in place. And this one has like a medium long arm on this one here and you can adjust it just like that. You can lock it in place, of course, and you can lock this. It has a little swivel here as well, but you can lock this in place as well. Let me go ahead and pull this one off, and let me see. I don't even know the brand of this one. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and put it in the link below as well. And also, I want to mention like one more other thing too, is let me just put this one back on here really fast, but instead of like using these magnets, what I typically do, is I use this, all right? Like typically my phones is, I have a wallet case, a magnetic wallet case, okay? And this is an iPhone 7 here. And typically what I do is 
I just pull this off of here and I pop that on there. Okay, and you can see it like going down a little bit, but of course you can like lock this in place too. If you just tighten this, I could tighten it up and now I can just pop it on there. And of course I can, I can still move it around, move it here. I can move it up there. I can swivel it over here. And like I said, the great thing with the magnets is basically you just get your phone, you pop it on there and you're ready to rock and roll. You want to leave, you pull it off all one hands instead of using two hands. Now last but not least, I got this one here. Now this one here goes into your CD player. Now, the, now for me it doesn't work because my CD player sits low and inside, but you may have a CD player that's a little bit higher. You know, if it's down too low, first of all, my gear shifter's in the way and it's too low, it's kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna be driving with something like that low. But anyways, let me go ahead and just move this down. Anyways, what you do with this one here is you just pop this into your CD player. And this was by Wizgear as well. You just go ahead and you just uh, put this in here and then you can tighten this up. Basically these blades that come up so it locks it in place. And I'll show you really quick. Let me just put that in here. You go ahead and like lock it just like that. And now you can see I did get some swivel here as well. And you can just basically pop that on here. But again, for me, for my vehicle, I would not advise having this because it sits too low. And my CD player is too deep. And when I put my car in park, it sits way too close to it all right well there you guys go if you guys found this video informative please give me a thumbs up subscribe and that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys bye